YouTube, it's of course Surviving Prophecy, and I'm back at it with another uh, reaction video. And this time we're gonna be the uh, we're gonna be reacting to LeBron James first championship. Now, you know, I'll do a little uh, I'll do a little bit of summary before I start. Um, he was in his yeah I think he was in his ninth season because he 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 um. Yeah, he spent the first what eight years in, in in Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, he made that famous, you know, uh, speech. You know, I was going to tell. Uh, this is this, this is a difficult decision. Um, uh, in the summer, I'm going to take my south. I'm going to take my talents to South Beach, and we all know how he collapsed in the first one. You know what I'm saying? Caught up, kind of. You know, brought him back to reality. Um, you know, came back. You know, got to the finals, and he was facing a young, a very young baby OKC team. Uh, okay, OKC team. Um, now a lot of people have excuses for that championship is well, he couldn't beat the Mavericks, so he had to beat a baby, you know, Thunder team with that was unexperienced. You know, uh, everybody on that team was obviously young besides Kendrick Perkins and Derek Fisher. You know what I'm saying? Those were the only two vets that had championship experience. Um, but you know what, man? Say what you want about LeBron James. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not picking sides. I'm not saying, you know, he, he can't play the game or he doesn't know how to play the game. He learned, you know, and... You know, he basically said that, um, you know, people call him selfish. And that's the one thing LeBron James isn't, you know. Um, by the time you've been watching basketball, you would know LeBron James is a willing passer. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he did it. You know what I'm saying? Um, he did it. And, you know, there's no looking back at it, you know. Where the people still want to criticize, well, it was a bit, it was against a baby Thunder team. Why he couldn't do it against the Mavericks? The Mavericks was a very underrated dark horse team. You know, nobody ever took the Magic serious. I mean, the the Mavericks seriously. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, they had players. They had they had dogs. They had a lot of dogs in them. You know, and and and, and, and to be honest with you. It was it was LeBron James, you know, second go around in the finals. Because remember when he was with the Cavaliers, he lost to them in the final. Well, it was against the Spurs. He lost to them in the in in the uh, in the finals. So LeBron James is two and one against them all time in the NBA playoffs. I mean, in the NBA finals. You know what I'm saying? Because the first one he got swept by the big three in the Spurs. And then after that, he won the second one. He won the second one meeting. So, yeah. So, uh, LeBron James is 2-1 and one against the Spurs in the NBA Finals. But we're going to check LeBron James' um, first NBA championship. And <clears throat> let's do it. And the NBA was not going to give the championship to a bunch of babies, you know, to a bunch of young bucks, you know. The Miami Heat was more of an experienced, he, there was more of an experienced team, you know. Even though this was LeBron James' second time to the NBA Finals, he was not going to let this, you know, slip away from him, you know. Like, he played absolutely crazy. Like... 
I mean, y'all want to y'all want to say, well, you know, he was just bulldozing his way to the to the you know rim and stuff like that. You know, he didn't necessarily take a lot of jumpers. You know, like all his points became all his points came from you know just hey man, you score how you score. You know, you get points how you get points. You know, most of his points came from steals and transition. And Kevin Durant could not guard LeBron James. Like, you see how he's good just going by him? <laughs> like a walk in the park. And I believe this game ended in in four, because uh, OKC won the first one, and that was game one, game two, game three. Game, yeah, so this game ended in game four. This was kind of like the Lakers and um, Sixers uh, NBA Finals, kind of. Just like the moment, just the momentum and how it, you know, nobody gave OKC a shot to even beat, you know, the, the Miami Heat. You know, everybody thought it was going to be a sweep, but, you know, at least they got one game. And after that, they never got back, to be honest with you. After this, they never got back. Yeah, this is game this is all games one through four. And that dude was just in attack mode, man. He wanted it more than than the than the other players in it show. I mean they put Cephalosha on them, they put Cameron Durant on them, they put Perkins on them, Ibaka on them. That dude was just a man possessed, you know? He wanted it more. Dirk Karen Durant tried to take the charge. I don't know why they didn't give it to him, but I guess he got there too late. Like I said, man, that, uh, LeBron James was just on a mission, man. He was just on a mission going fishing, man.
But nobody can stop him, man. And this is where they just blew him out the water in, 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 game, in game four. And he was limping a little bit because of that turnover. I think it was a turnover. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't it. Was it a turnover? Yeah, it was a turnover because they're going back the other way. But hey, man. No pain, no gain, right? You have to sacrifice to win. Yeah, it makes me wanna, makes me want to buy 2K15 all over again. <laughs> now I'm just playing. I mean, his assists went up, his rebounds went up, his skills went up, his blocks went up. Like he was just a totally different person. That's when when people said that this. Well, that's why a lot of people. That's when a, when a lot of people bring up that Michael Jordan versus LeBron debate. Which LeBron James are you are you are you putting on? You know uh, Michael Jordan. Are you putting Miami Heat LeBron James? Are you putting in Cleveland LeBron James? Or are you putting Lakers LeBron James against Kobe uh, against Michael Jordan's? You know ninety seven. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Michael Jordan's first championship too, to see the difference. That dude was just his mindset was just completely zoned out. It's like he took every puff. Of that joint, and he just freaking balled out. Like I said, man, it doesn't matter who you beat. It don't matter who you beat. It's how you get there, and how you get the job done. You know. I mean, yeah, LeBron James had to do it against an unexperienced Thunder team, but I mean. Like that, they probably saying, you know what? I'm gonna join Brooklyn for a couple of years. In a couple of years, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yeah, his points went up. His rebounds went up. His field goal went up. It's like he's just a different dude. Like, you know he was going to get a flag for it. Because Cleveland didn't want to help him. Cleveland, Cleveland, like, Cleveland showed him that they didn't want to help him. They didn't want to, you know, waste, you know, their money and their their resource just to put pieces around LeBron James. We did it the first time. You got, like, you, like he dragged you out to the NBA playoffs just to get swept by the Spurs the first time. And I was just keep ignoring him, so he did what he had to do. I mean, I'm not... I mean, I would have probably done the same thing. If y'all don't get no help, if y'all don't get no help from the organization, and y'all supposed to be, you know, throwing up 40, 50, one points each and every night, you know, and it's crazy. So I'm not mad at him one bit for leaving, because y'all would have done the same thing. But, you know, I mean, Stuart Scott, you know, uh, you know, David Stern, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, it, it's just, Bill Russell's like, you know, I can still kick your ass. Bill Russell, Bill Russell's probably saying, boy, I can still kick your ass at my age. Your first championship, you still got milk around your lip. I'm just playing. Damn, man, Stuart Scott was my dog. I I was a huge fan of Stuart Scott, too, man. 
Those ESPN days, man. I was at the bar when this happened, to be honest, too. I was downtown Miami at, the, at, at this bar when this happened. Because we couldn't get in because it was too packed, so we just had to watch it at the bar. Oh, no, it wasn't eight, it was seven. Now, if LeBron James can play like this, like he played like that, obviously he was only 27 years old at the time. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not saying that he he, he has to play like this this year, but, you know, it would be amazing if he did, though. I mean, like this Thunder team reminds me of the Brooklyn Nets team so bad. You know? Like Westbrook is like a, is like a, is like, is like a souped up, 2.0, you know, Kyrie Irving. And then you still got, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, like I said, man, uh, people is going to ridicule, you know, LeBron James' first championship. But, you know, he faced who he faced, you know? Like, he has no control over who comes out the uh, West, you know? But, uh, but yeah, man, that was LeBron James' first championship. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I would do Michael Jordan's first championship uh, right after this. So like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.